Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best ultra wide monitors. Starting at number 5. ViewSonic Elite XG341C2K. The ViewSonic Elite XG341C2K ticks a lot of the right boxes when it comes to gaming monitors. Not only does it have a 3440 by 1440 resolution with a native 165 Hz refresh rate, but it can also be overclocked to 200 Hz. It is both AMD FreeSync to 165 Hz and Nvidia G-Sync compliant and has good build quality. However, the Elite XG341C2K stands out with its VA panel with mini LED backlighting. This gives the monitor rich colors out of the box, incredible contrast, which we would expect from a VA panel, and an eye-searing maximum HDR brightness of 1400 nits. And thanks to mini LED backlighting, the Elite XG341C2K has 1152 dimming zones versus the fewer than 400 that we typically see with a FALD panel. Coming at number 4. Corsair Xenian Flex. Corsair's 45-inch Xenian Flex is a premium monitor at a premium price. But its price tag is justified by its unique, bendable OLED panel that allows you to choose between a flat panel or an 800R maximum curve. You manually bend the screen using two handles extending from the chassis sides. The Xenian Flex exhibits good contrast and color accuracy. You also get a fast, 240Hz refresh rate and low input lag. Adaptive Sync is standard, with support for AMD FreeSync Premium and NVIDIA G-Sync. The widescreen format with a 3440x1440 1440 resolution should appeal to gamers and productivity workers alike. There's no such thing as a perfect product, and the Xenian Flex has a couple of dings due to its relatively low pixel density courtesy of the 45-inch panel and slight misses with. At number 3. ViewSonic Elite XG350RC. Currently going for $660, the ViewSonic Elite XG350RC is cheaper than many other 35-inch ultra-wides and those with fewer features, there's even RGB lighting on the back of the XG350RC. But what you'll really love about the XG350RC is its vivid and accurate color that makes textures pop, skin tones look natural, and everything looks more realistic. If you want life-changing HDR or to use HDR with adaptive sync, look elsewhere. But in addition to a 21 to 9 aspect ratio, the Elite XG350RC employs an 1800mm curve radius that engulfed us with solid image quality, making for an immersive ultra-wide experience. Number 2 of my list Samsung 49-inch The Samsung 49-inch Odyssey G9 is one of the most extreme monitors on this page. Not only is it a massive 49 inches diagonally, but it also carries a 1000R curve, the most dramatic curve offered on a gaming monitor today. From a 2 to 3 feet distance, this panel will fill your view. It's like having two 27 inch, 1440p monitors in one. You'll need nearly 4 feet of desk width and 17 inches of depth to accommodate it, but if you do, you'll enjoy a wraparound gaming environment without image distortion. Testing of the 49-inch Odyssey G9 revealed excellent contrast, 2, 152.9 to 1 after calibration, which climbed to 58, 881.7 to 1 when it came to HDR testing. This is a bright monitor with a sharp picture and accurate DCI-P3 and sRGB color. And number 1. Alienware AW3423DWF. Desktop class OLEDs used to be a rarity in the gaming monitor segment, but over the years, prices have come down, and more entries have entered the fray. The latest comes to us from Alienware, and it's the jaw-dropping AW3423DFW. This is a 34-inch ultra-wide monitor with a 1800 arc curve and a resolution of 3440 by 1440. However, the most important spec is its use of a Quantum Dot OLED QD OLED panel, 
which offers an extremely wide color gamut and the blackest blacks you'll find in a gaming monitor. The QD OLED heart of the AW3423DFW gives it unmatched contrast and excellent color saturation and we felt no need to calibrate the panel further out of the box. Throw in premium build quality, as we expect from Alienware, and top-notch video processing and the AW3423DFW hit all the high notes without any demerits worth mentioning for enthusiast gamers. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.